I didn't have a sense that it was a solo, uh, you know, like a solo. There are other actors, obviously, but I'm most of the time I'm by myself. But it was mostly Vasilis uh, pitched this idea that I liked very much. I knew we were going to shoot in sequence, which is very interesting, and I knew that the uh, screenplay was going to be a blueprint because we had to, there were many things that we couldn't solve or we couldn't know how they would be done until we got in the space. And I think that's always a beautiful way to work when you get in the space to work with what you have there. That's very important. And when it's well designed and well prepared, that's a beautiful way to work as opposed to having an idea, getting there and always forcing things in, uh, into the way of your idea. So it felt very free. The basic uh, premise was exciting to me. You get the idea. Good people, I liked how they approached me and it seemed like it would be a challenge to do this text that is very active <coughs> but it's also meditative at the same time. It's very internal, but it's very physical. So that's, those contradictions make for an interesting project. And just quickly, uh, for modern art, uh, I love going to um, see art. I love going to uh, galleries. Uh, uh, what I see often inspires me. I mean, for me to talk about uh, the, the art, uh, I mean, it's very important in my film and I really want it to be so important. It is the co-star in the film, um, together with the design and the, and the architecture in the film. Um, for me, art, it's important that it's, uh, we, we tend to forget that art in the, in, uh, basically is a, a mean of communication. And uh, we, we um, most of the time we think art as a commodity, as a, as an investment, but uh, basically art is a way of co of communicating. People were always communicating with art, and people and uh, we know so many things about uh, the. I mean, ancient civilizations civilizations le uh, left all these uh, artworks and artifacts for us to understand uh, the what their lives was, ab was about. I, I grew up in New York, uh, you know, as an adult in a very fertile time where the art world really exploded. And uh, th that was, uh, and the theater that I worked with, uh, worked with a lot of artists. So I, I grew up, uh, you know, loving to go to galleries, doing uh, studio visits, things like that. I don't know, I just like things that l let us uh, see things anew, look in new ways. And uh, that's, that's always what I'm interested in because uh, we always got to, uh, you know, the thing that I dedicate myself to, I try to anyway, is to not get stuck. Because when you get stuck, you start to protect your point of view and you stop thinking, you stop uh, uh, being empathetic towards other people, you stop making things, you stop being productive, and you kind of dig in. And then it's just this <coughs> march toward death. So um, that's my relationship to art, basically. I like things that take you off your game, take you off your way of thinking, um, because art is such a fertile place for us to become disoriented and become, uh, you know, connected to the, the, the mystery of things. You can do it in nature, you can do it in many ways, but our, our art is very powerful that way. Um, my mother was a nurse, and I remember as a very young child, she, talk, she talked about uh, a patient that she had, and uh, he was a, 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 cat, a catatonic. And from morning to night, he sang this song, I'm going to heaven on a hillside, and I'm going to heaven on a hillside. And that haunted me. <laughs> so uh, that came to mind uh, for someone trapped. He was trapped in his body. And the really interesting thing, should I tell the other of course, part? Of course. I'm, I, maybe it's, yeah, it's cool, I guess. It's interesting. The, his personal history was this guy was going to shoot himself. He was uh, depressed. depressed. And as he was putting the gun to his head, 
His wife walked into the room. He became confused and he shot her. And from that moment, he became catatonic. And from then on, that was the phrase that dominated his life. I'm going to heaven on a hillside. I'm going to heaven on a hillside. Yeah. Ooh.